Hey Retro, question for you. You're supposed to be such a thrifty, penny-pinching, money-saving, slick kind of guy. Then why on earth are you going to farm out the shirts to somebody else who's going to charge you more? You printed t-shirts when you were younger. What's stopping you? You're Retro. Hmm. That's a good question. I don't know why. We're going to get at it. Good idea, Snoop. I mean, wish Snoop, not really Snoop. Can I put you down for a shirt, buddy? Oh, snap, that's my boy. Put me down for a large, my man. And when the hats come in, let me know. Always try to cut out the middleman whenever possible. It will cost you less, and in return, the retro maniacs pay less. Sounds like a plan to me, retro. I'm out. It's jug up time. Large. You're like six foot three, right? You, I didn't hear that right. You mean extra large or two X, right? I mean, unless you missed uh, chest day at the gym. Look slick, I miss chest day, arm day, leg day, every day. Don't forget retro, you didn't purchase the officially licensed Snoop. You ordered me from Wish. Did you think I was gonna be muscle bound? Retro needs to slow down on the cush. Anyhow, peace retro maniacs. Welcome to the Retro Collectibles Custom Print Lab. Today we're going to print a t-shirt. I got this fancy machine. I'm going to show you how it works. See if I can print one. They sent us sample t-shirts and some sample transfers so you could try it. So we'll give her a whirl. Guess we're putting this down first. This machine comes with attachments. I can make coffee mugs, plates, or hats. Just still figuring out this stuff here, but see if we can get it going. Now it's not a good shirt. It's actually a test shirt that they send you, so I'm not too concerned if it's perfectly straight or anything but we're gonna try to get it straight as we can obviously but apparently we put that on there like that now here's it's called a dtf transfer direct to film it's like a iron on when we were kids but these are way way better than the ones when we were kids they call this white Teflon cloth, but it looks like a piece of cardboard to me, but it does have a weird feeling. I guess that works like parchment paper or whatever. So we lay that flat on the pattern. Um, if you're worried about the pattern moving around, you can use the tape that comes with it. I'm saving the tape for the good shirts, but uh, check this out. Didn't have it in frame, but saving that for the good shirts so then we're going to turn this around i might have to use two hands it swivels around the top of the press i'm going to use two hands once you get it turned into where you want it you crank her down make sure she's not swiveling everywhere on you when you're trying to print Get some power going to it. Important to let it preheat. So for a shirt, we want it at 230 and the highest temperature going to 355. Even tells you how long, but you play around with it, obviously. For the best results as you can see it heats up on its own which is cool letting her heat all the way up to the 230 just like a big iron though basically it's like what we did when we were kids with the iron-ons but a lot more high tech a lot more effective they last longer And they look better. She's getting up there. And then once she's hot enough, we take this handle and boop. And it stays down for as long as we need it. I think it was 50 seconds. 
I haven't done it for a while though, so. Very important to let it warm up though, because if you don't get it, hot, get it hot enough, your DTF won't stick. Well, that was cool. Dave just came by and he used to own two similar machines uh, to print comic books. Um, I guess he had that as a hobby before. And uh, he knows exactly how to use that because the instructions are kind of not too in-depth. When I read the reviews, that was the one complaint, uh, one major complaint was that the instructions weren't that great. But once people figured it out, it was all good. Uh, but he just taught me how to use the timer and set everything up. Uh, it actually counts down for you and all that. So let's see if we're going to get a shirt or if Retro is just a big dumb goof. Yeah, I like having the timer counting down for the amount of seconds. I don't like having to friggin' remember it in my head and count it while I'm trying to press the shirt and make sure it's not burning or on fire. While well, it's heating up, I'll show you some of the parts. Not sure what most of it does yet. I know this is for coffee mugs. That's obvious. You plug this into the machine, wherever it plugs in, and then you press it down like a press. Here's the handle for the coffee mugs. Maybe that's for a hat, I don't know. One for plates too, dinner plates. That machine beeping means it's at the proper temperatures. We raised the temperature for this one from 230 up because it's a different type of transfer. So I'm going to do it with a little bit of a higher temperature. There we go. Now this might be a two-hander because of the... You know what? Yeah, hold on, guys. I know how to use the timer, but I can't use it because I've got one hand on a camera and one hand holding the handle down. That sucks. I was going to show you guys the timer. But we should be almost done here. And then that thing should peel off. Hopefully it doesn't peel the uh, logo off. Okay, shut her down. Always remember to shut her down. It's cool. It's got this circuit breaker on the side of it. If you have an emergency, you just give that a press. Uh-oh, it smells like burnt hair. Hope it worked. She gets warm. This, this, uh, the Teflon cloth, as they call it. I was showing Dave. He said his looked different, but he had a Teflon piece or whatever for his. Just to make sure the transfer doesn't cook to the uh, press. Oh, yeah. Did she hold? Oh yeah, and it's the rubberized. Well, all DTFs are different. It depends on who makes them. I'm getting a really good company to make mine. These are just free ones that came with the press so you could try it, but they're the rubberized ones. And yeah, that's on there. Feels like, uh, like I'm wearing one with the same type of thing and it feels the same, same type. Hmm, gives me an idea. Oh, I just did this one. I'm a real pro. Only got the one shirt, the dummy shirt. So I put one on each side just to test the machine, but yeah, all good. Now, of course I put in an order for killer shirts and my DTFs might be coming locally. I'm waiting to hear back from Custom Print Lab uh, who does really good quality DTFs, and they're in town here. So I'm just waiting to hear back from them. And then we'll have some shirts on the press, retro collectible style. I finally put Bill's ghost in with my display. That's a vintage uh, Scooby-Doo ghost from, I believe, 1990 or 91, something like that. But Bill gave that to me, so I put it in the display. Looks good. Thank you, Bill. Well, there you go. The machine works awesome. I've used those machines before, but it was years ago and they were a little bit different back then. Um, but yeah, the prices piece some people wanted for shirts were not feasible and I would have had to charge people through the nose. Not all of them. Um, there was one person that wanted $14 a shirt 
uh, but they weren't very good quality shirts. And I don't want shirts that are going to like shrink after you wash them or anything like that. I want good quality shirts. So I'm going with the Gildan. What the, it's a brand that is a lot better than Fruit of the Loom, which is garbage, believe it or not, and for quality. And most shirts are printed on Gildan. A lot of them are. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm going with. So I'm just uh, waiting to hear back about the DTF prints, waiting for the Gildan shirts to come in, and then we're doing her up. Already got people's sizes. If anybody else is interested, let me know in a retro collectible shirt. Uh, we're also going to be doing different logos in the future, or uh, different styles of it in the future. We're going to have a Cowie Diecast Museum shirt as well. Um, and we're also going to be doing hats. Uh, but the first run is just going to be the classic black shirt, first run. So, yeah, keep it simple the first time. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed it. It's something different. Um, I'm going to be doing an unboxing probably today. You guys won't see that video the same day as today. Uh, but I'll be unboxing this guy. Yeah, that beauty. Maisto is doing good for... Uh die cast in 2024 but i want to wait for glenn to be home to do that and i know some people would find this interesting with the shirts so figured i'd make a video anyway guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to uh, smash that like button for me and uh subscribe and share and as always guys happy hunting good long weekend don't drink and drive and if you smoke stay home don't drive uh, if you don't hurt somebody else or yourself or worse, you'll get busted by the popo. So just stay home and enjoy your long weekend. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. And uh, if you're interested in a retro collectible shirt, just hit me up. Uh, let me know what your size is. And also, I'm on Facebook. Here's the uh, little laddie there for Facebook, in case you want to come follow me there. Anyway, guys, hope you're having a good long weekend. Take care. This beat is stupid grimy. Huh, that's a Cobra Kai kick. There's some open eyes. Should open eyes when I spit. I get riled up like dogs around a postmaster. The dough stack up with no mana.